Do you like listening to oldies music or the occasional ballad? Do you like to wind down to some slow jams? Learn how to describe your music interests and just how to talk about music in general in this video. In this video, we are going to learn some useful, natural, common words that we use to describe music. Melodies, hymns, rhythm. What do these words actually mean? To find out the meaning of those words and many more, keep watching. Our first word is melody. Melody. A melody is a series of musical notes that feel as if they are played one after the other. So to the ear, they feel as if they are played one at a time. They are linear, or some people might say horizontal in feeling. So let's listen to this. Okay, so that dun 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 consists of what sounds like single notes being played one after the other, and we might call that the melody, which is different from our next term. Harmony. Harmony. Harmony is a combination of musical sounds played or sung at the same time. And this is an example of harmony. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen. So here it feels and is different combinations of musical sounds that are sung at the same time. Okay, and we might call this harmony or harmonizing. Next we have pitch pitch so pitch in simple terms is the highness or lowness of a sound we can speak or sing in a high pitch voice or we can sing or speak in a low pitched voice and if you are singing or playing an instrument you might hear someone say, you sound a little pitchy, right? This just means the pitch is either too high or too low. And beat, beat. A beat is a regular steady pace in music. So the beat in a song doesn't change throughout the song, it stays the same. Think of this device here. It's called a metronome. It keeps the beat. So if you are tapping your foot to the beat, right, you're just keeping that regular steady pace. And again, it doesn't change in the song. If you are off beat, you are not in time with the beat. So if you are clapping or dancing off beat, it doesn't go with the music. And the opposite would be on beat. If you are clapping on beat, you are in sync with the music. Rhythm. Rhythm. Then we have rhythm. Rhythm is a regular pattern in music in which musical notes flow. So the rhythm contains what we talked about earlier, the beat. It's the pattern of particular sounds. In, in, in music, in a particular song, okay? And the rhythm actually can change in a song, unlike the beat. Lyrics, lyrics. All right, and then we have lyrics. 
lyrics. Lyrics are simply the words of a song. Pretty straightforward. The words spoken in a song. Chorus or refrain? A chorus or a refrain? A chorus and a refrain are synonyms, right? So they are the part of a song that repeats between verses. So it usually has the same melody and the same words. So here we have the song, You Are My Sunshine. The chorus is pointed to. I drew an arrow to the chorus, right? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy, yada, yada, yada. And that is the part that repeats throughout the song. So we call that the chorus or the refrain. Verse, verse. And a verse is a part of a song that repeats, usually between the chorus, but it usually it repeats with a new set of lyrics. So we have, you are my sunshine, right? And the first paragraph here is one verse, okay? Which starts the other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, yada, 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 that is one verse. Then we have the chorus. And then after the chorus, we have the second verse. And it has the same melody as the first verse, but we have new lyrics in that one. Turn up and to turn down. To turn up and to turn down. Then we have uh, two phrasal verbs, to turn up and to turn down. To turn up means to make music louder, and to turn down means to make it quieter. So I could say I turned up the music in my car. I turned down the volume of the speaker. Let's turn down the TV sound. Rewind. Rewind. Then we have rewind. So to rewind means to make a recording go backwards. So this could be in reference to music. You could rewind a song, okay, make it play backwards. Or you could rewind a DVD or a VHS tape. Shuffle. On shuffle, shuffle, on shuffle. To shuffle is to play songs or recordings in a random or different order. So when I'm listening to songs on my phone, I like to play them on shuffle so that I don't know what song comes next. It's a little surprise for me. So you can use that expression on shuffle when you are playing your songs in a shuffled order. Repeat, repeat. Then we have repeat or on repeat, right? And we use the phrase on repeat much like how we use the phrase on shuffle. If we play something on repeat, we are playing that song again and again, maybe because we really like it, okay? What song do you like to play on repeat? Let me know in the comments. Lip sync, lip sync. To lip sync is to match the lip movements of a song, but you aren't actually singing. So a lot of artists kind of pretend like they are singing songs, but really they are just moving their mouths. And we call this lip syncing. And a lot of artists do this maybe if they are performing live and they have to maybe dance. Maybe they don't want to sing and dance at the same time, so they just lip sync to one of their songs. Track. Track. And then we have a track. So a track is one song or recording on an album, okay? And sometimes we even just label them track one, track two, track three, and so on, all right? It's an individual song. Album. Album. An album is a musical recording with a collection of songs. So it's an official compilation or collection of music. So The Dark Side of the Moon is an example of an official combination of songs by Pink Floyd. It is one of their albums. Mixtape. Mixtape. Then we have a mixtape. A mixtape is a selection of songs on one recording 
and usually it consists of different artists. So you can make homemade mixtapes of just artists that you want to listen to, or sometimes music studios might release mixtapes, but it's just music on one compilation, and that music comes from different people, different artists. Acoustic. Acoustic. Then we have acoustic. Acoustic. Uh, so this describes a musical instrument that that's sound is not altered by any sort of electrical device. So a common example would be an acoustic guitar, an acoustic guitar versus an electric guitar. The acoustic guitar sound is not changed by an amplifier. Soundtrack soundtrack then we have a soundtrack so a soundtrack is an album cd etc of the songs in a movie so this here pictured is the soundtrack to the movie encanto right and it contains the music from that movie orchestra orchestra and orchestra is a group of musician of musicians who play instruments together and are led by a musical conductor. All right. This music playing is called orchestral music. It is played by a large group of musicians of musicians. So, the group is called an orchestra and the music they play is orchestral music sample sample then we have a sample a sample a sample is a part of a song that is used in another song lots of rap songs use samples lots of edm and dance songs sample parts of other songs okay we just simply call it a sample feature Feature. And then we have feature. Feature. A feature is a guest on another artist's song. So a song might belong to one artist or be considered a certain artist's song, but they might have a special musical guest on that song. We call this a feature. Ghostwriter. Ghostwriter. Uh, next, we have a ghostwriter. A ghostwriter is a person who writes music for another artist, but that other artist receives credit for actually writing that music. So the song is credited to a different artist than the one who actually wrote it. The person who actually wrote it, we call the ghostwriter. Upbeat music. Upbeat music. Upbeat is another word we use to describe songs. So it describes a song that has a happy or a positive quality. So here is an example of, a, of an upbeat song. Oldies or old school? Oldies or old school. Old school or oldies music describes music of the past or music that is seen as old fashioned. So perhaps music that was popular in the 1950s or 1960s could be considered old school or oldies. Some people might even consider 80s or 90s music old school or oldies. Anthem. Anthem. An anthem is an official song showing respect or support. Or it's a song that is important to a certain group of people. So countries, as you know, have national anthems, right? They are the official song of the country, a patriotic song sung to show respect for that country. A hymn. A hymn. A hymn 
is a type of religious song, right? And we do not pronounce the N in this word. We just say a hymn, a hymn. Okay, so it's a religious song or a song that praises a god. So different religions can have hymns. Slow jam. Slow jam. Then we have a slow jam, which is a slower, romantic sounding R&B song. So you can think of artists like uh, Usher or Casey and Jojo. You can look them up if you don't know. But they make a lot of slow jams. So slow, kind of mushy songs. Ballad. A ballad. Then we have a ballad. A ballad. A ballad is a popular slow song that is usually romantic in nature. So artists like Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey sing lots of these lovey-dovey ballads that are romantic and this is particularly for music not not ballad when we use not it's not the ballad we use to describe poems right? and this is also a more modern definition of ballad the one that i used in this video a cover a cover next we have a cover a cover is a recording or performance of someone else's song. So you can have cover bands who play at restaurants and lounges or large venues. So these are just songs that belong to other people um, that were performed by other artists first. So we can say that an artist covered those songs. A remix, a remix. A remix is a different version of an already recorded song. So lots of rap or EDM music have remixes. The song might have a different beat, or maybe it might have a feature on it that was slightly different from the original song. We just call this a remix. Hit. Hit. A hit is a very popular or successful song. So hit songs could be Thriller by Michael Jackson, or maybe Blue Suede Shoes, sung by Elvis Presley. Um, All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. These are very popular hit songs. Acapella, acapella. Then we have a term, acapella, acapella, which I believe is actually Italian. Uh, I'm not sure. I believe it's Italian. Um, but we use it in English, and it means you just sing without uh, instrumental music. Okay? So you're singing unaccompanied, unaccompanied by music. Instrumental. And instrumental. And an instrumental, I guess, would be the opposite of singing <laughs> a cappella, right? It's a performance with instruments and no singing. Okay? So just. A song with instruments we would call an instrumental. And that was the end of today's video on different music vocabulary, ways you can describe music. I hope it was useful. I hope you get out there and start incorporating these words into your vocabulary when you're describing your music interests. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Like this video if you want more lessons like this. Feel free to subscribe as well. And until next time, English learners.